Got a fun problem for you today. Use the Fibonacci characteristic sequence 3, P, Q, 5, R, on and on, to find the value of P plus Q plus R. First of all, what is a Fibonacci characteristic sequence? The Fibonacci sequence you may be familiar with goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, and so on. The way we generate any new term in the sequence is we take the previous two terms and add them together. Beginning from 1 and 1, or some people begin it from 0 and 1, we can generate all the other terms in the sequence. For example, 1 plus 1 makes 2, 1 plus 2 makes 3, 2 plus 3 makes 5, on and on forever. There's no special reason though that we have to begin with one and one or zero and one for that matter. For example, there's another set called the Lucas numbers that actually begin with one and three, but otherwise still obey this same characteristic, which says to generate a new term in the sequence, just add the previous two terms in the sequence. One and three makes four, so that's the next term in the Lucas sequence. Three and four makes seven, four and seven makes 11, and so on and so on. One interesting feature of these kinds of sequences is that that although they seem in spirit to be closer to an arithmetic sequence where we are adding something over and over again, in reality, they end up acting a lot more like a geometric sequence. That is, in an arithmetic sequence, we would add some common difference over and over again. Something like, for example, one, four, seven, 10 is arithmetic if we keep adding that common difference of three over and over again. Because we're adding something with things like the Fibonacci numbers and the Lucas numbers, it's tempting to think that they're going to behave like other arithmetic sequences. In actuality, as we let the terms get larger and larger though, they behave more like geometric sequences. Geometric sequences are those where the ratio between terms stays the same. So something like three, six, 12, 24 is a geometric sequence because for any two consecutive terms, the ratio between those terms is the same. In this case, you can tell that they're getting larger not by adding some number over and over again, but by multiplying by two every time to generate a new term. In the Fibonacci sequence, what we end up multiplying by is very, very close to the irrational number phi. That is, we can generate each new term roughly by multiplying by about 1.6. In any case, that's far more than we need to be able to answer this particular question. If this is a Fibonacci characteristic sequence, all they're really telling us is three plus P, for example, is going to be equal to Q. So this is really their hidden way to give us a system of equations. We can also say P plus Q Q is equal to five and Q plus five is equal to R. At this point, you can tell we can actually simplify the problem a little bit. If we already know that P plus Q is equal to five, this problem is really asking us what's five plus R. In fact, even further than that, we can see five and R are the last two terms in the sequence we have right now. So the next term in the sequence will be five plus R. In fact, they're merely asking us what is that next term in the sequence. Like I said, when we have these multiple variables variables, we want to set up a system of equations and then solve that system, usually by either elimination or substitution in the case of something simple like a two variable system. My personal preference is almost always to eliminate, but in this particular case, I think substitution works pretty well because we already know that Q is equal to three plus P. So this second equation, P plus Q equals five, we can actually rewrite as P plus three three plus P equals five, which then gives us that two P must be equal to two and therefore P is one. At this point, we can plug that into the sequence and see, all right, so we've got three and then one because we just figured out P is one, which means the next term up must be four and then five, four and five makes nine, so that's R. And then finally, the term we're actually interested in, five plus nine makes 14. And so the answer to this question, the value of P plus Q plus R is 14. How would you have solved this system? Would you have tried some kind of elimination instead? Is there a faster way that you could use to get to the answer here? Other extensions. So our Fibonacci numbers have that phi ratio between them, approximately speaking. What is the approximate ratio between the Lucas numbers? Comment down below with how you figured it out. Like this video, subscribe if you wanna see more like it, and otherwise I'll see you all next time.